Anybody want to hear from Eric the Midget? He claims he was invited to a Diana DeGarmo charity event. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, Eric. Eric. Hello. Hi. So is that for real? Yeah. Now, what, now how did that happen? Well, I was on my trip back to that area two days into the trip. I get a text message on my phone from Susan saying that Diana's mom, Brenda, emailed her saying that I was invited to a charity event that Diana was going to be at on September the 27th. Mm. Only thing is that fell on the very same night that I was at my cousin's wedding, (sighs) about a six-hour car ride away from the charity event. So you never went? No, I had to decline. Wow, can you imagine? Eric the Midget has nothing to do for years. And, and everything then, comes on the same day. And he finally gets invited to actually be in the same room with Diana DeGarmo. His and then, girl. And then this, somebody has a wedding on the same night. I mean, he, he sits at home all Your the time. Your luck is really bad, Eric. You got shitty luck, Eric. <laughs> you really do. Don't play the lottery. Not, not, not worse than the Yankees. <laughs> yeah, I got to talk about the Yankees. I know. Artie must be in mourning today. How are you, man? Did you watch the whole game? Of course, of course, I watched what the whole it, fucking hey, game. Hey, Artie, which of the two um, New York managers will be on the unemployment line first? I don't know. Are you going to the A's game this afternoon? Oh, that's right. Eric, you're going to hey, be I at the A's game? You little I prick. Did, I didn't have any hope that they would actually. They make it this year. They yeah, made right, two mis- right. They made two mistakes at the end of last season. One firing Maka and two <laughs> getting rid of to- or Frank Thomas. How do you know hey, so Gary, much shit Gary, about it? Well, meanwhile, <laughs> Gary's got a whole bunch of stats to rub in your face. But I got the best stat of all. But how does a Met, a Met fan? I mean, the Yankees got they play further. four more days. That's, That's what all the Met fans are saying. They so go, big four deal, more. four more days. Here, here's the thing. For well, you, one for team made the playoffs. Already, already, one how, team made the playoffs, the other team did Right, and, and now they're both playing golf. Um, how much money do you think, since the Yankees won their last World Series in 2000, right. how much money do you think George Steinbrenner has spent trying to win another World Series? How much? $1.1 billion. Okay. Wow. That's What's a lot the Met of money. payroll? I don't know. Not, they, I, I'll tell you, the Mets haven't spent that much. It's it's a lot of money, though. I mean, and seriously, they still already, haven't won. Do you, do you feel? Do, do you think that paying Roger Clemens twenty two million dollars was worth it this year? <laughs> Look, that you know, definitely with an worth ERA it. in the playoffs. What is his ERA here? Where Could is, be Gary whipping out stats? I'm Look, he sure. got notes. Oh, there you go, Roger Clemens. Eleven point five seven was the ERA, but not not nearly as good as Chin Ming Wang with 19, a nineteen ERA. Is that who pitched last night? Yeah. They took him out after the second inning. How come he's so fucking bad? He won 19 games this year, nah, but then was, something happened. He had a good year. And he blew. You know. Wang? He, yeah, Wang. Wang is Baseball's a, a long season, man. But once again, uh, you know, A-Rod hit a homer last night. But God, but, he's yeah, so... But, uh, he just, forget about A-Rod. What about your beloved Derek Jeter? Three for 17. Yeah, well, yeah I'm surprised, for Jeter, you didn't hear from this, uh, this uh The Yankees pitching series. Series. blew the whole No, the batting game. blew. Well, I mean, Posada, two Clemens, for 15. Clemens fucked up. Messina fucked up. But yeah, none of these guys were, they hit. They got into a hole every game. Yeah. None mm-hmm. of the guys ever hit. Yeah, well, I mean, Garrett, what do you want me to tell you? I don't know. <laughs> You're masculine Yankees versus the gay Mets. They hit a lot last <laughs> night, just not enough. <laughs> What's going to be Joe Torre fired first? I answer yeah, I th- the midget's I, yeah. question. I say Joe Torre. I, I hate to say it because I really do think he's a good manager. I'd say he's probably fired by the end of the day. Do you agree, Artie? Uh, no, not today. Not Why? Today. No, I don't. I don't, I don't think uh, they're not. He, Steinberg's not going to fire him today. When oh, is I, he going to fire him then? I Tomorrow. Mean, it might be like you <laughs> might hear about it during you know. In like December, they signed the deal with. I think he's gonna. I think, uh, I think it's poised for Willie Randolph to come over to the major league like, now. He's got a contract already with a real <laughs> you team. Know, I, I don't mean to cut the baseball talk short, but I'm thinking this Eric, you know, the poor bastard has been fantasizing about Diana DeGarmo. What was the wedding? How important was the wedding? Whose wedding was it? It was my mom's sister's son. My mom's so cousin. A cousin. A cousin. Or, yeah. Do you see how often do you see your cousin that got married? Last time I saw him was at his sister's wedding six years ago. So a guy you hardly see, he is a cousin. 
A guy you hardly see versus Diana DeGarmo. Hey, Eric, did you say to your mom and dad at some point, look, this is Diana DeGarmo, the woman I'm hoping to marry or get into a relationship with. I've been calling her house multiple times. See, if I was Eric's parents, I would take her to Diana DeGarmo on the chance he might get married. They'd get rid of him. Did you well, say- they know he has no shot. <laughs> did you ask for a pass on this? No, because I knew there was no shot. You know, like, they were the ones that had the keys to the rest car and you know it was a six hour drive between the two places so how do you see what the what the real torture in his life is besides being in the wheelchair he's a man child because he's a grown-up but he's still a child to his parents he has to ask permission to go out and ask permission to go every place and it's it's like drive me here drive me yeah and like like, i do too feel i feel bad for her too because like like any other guy would just hop in his car and say fuck this i'm gonna go meet this chick and I'm going to go drive there and, uh, you know, and like, you know, I'll just I'll make some excuse for not being at the wedding. But he's so beaten down, like even in his condition, you think he could call a friend and say, listen, get me out of this fucking wedding. I can meet Diana to go come and get me. Right. But he wouldn't even do that because he's so afraid of the his parents. parents. will cut him off. You know? Yeah. Don't you know any other gay men or 14 year old girls that would have went with you? To see Diana DeGuarmo? <laughs> no fat ass. <laughs> Can you imagine and your a Your Diana- cousin must hate you, this guy, right? I mean, yeah, this cousin going, oh my God, we got to have Eric yeah, at the I wedding. Talk to Eric, you know, he's rolling his eyes. Does he have to be in the pictures? Yeah. No, he was thankful that I was there. Oh, well, he had to say that. Can you imagine what a Diana DeGuarmo charity event is? Like, what is that? What is the charity? The, the email, I sent the will, and there was an advertisement. On her MySpace page, it talks about the event. So it would probably have been Eric and Diana DeGarmo at this event. Yeah, I mean, no one else would have been there. <laughs> Eric, you're telling me Diana DeGarmo's mom called and invited you? She emailed Susan, the, you know, the woman I know that knows. And she said, please invite family. Eric. She said, please invite Eric to the Diana DeGarmo charity event. Yeah, it was like a, something that do a chef's or something like that. that what do you think is going on here, Gary? It, it sounds like invitations went out, might have gone out to a person Eric knew, but I'm, I, I don't know. It sounds a little shaky. But, you know, Eric's missing the whole point. You are a charity. You should have your own charity <laughs> event and get Diana to host it. Hey, hold on. Mrs. DeGarmo is on the phone, believe it or not. Yes, Mrs. DeGarmo. Hi, how are you? This is Mrs. DeGarmo. Thank you for calling in. What can I uh, do for you? Yes, I'm going to send Eric the invitation for the charity event. He's a lion. <laughs> You're saying he's a lying midget because why? You didn't send him an invite? No, not at all. Wow. Uh, th- Mrs. DeGarmo says she did not send you an invite, Eric. He's harassing, yeah, right. my, daughter. He's harassing my daughter, and next time he's going to do it, I'm going to press charges on this midget. <laughs> high pitch. Who high is pitch. pitch. Uh, is this high, high pitch? Job. This is Mrs. DeGarmo. <laughs> this is yeah, not right. high pitch. Who's high pitch? This is Mrs. DeGarmo. You're not high pitch, right? No, this is not high pitch. This is it Mrs. really DeGarmo. isn't, Eric. It's Mrs. DeGarmo. No, it's not Brenda's voice. I know that for sure. It's not a call of my daughter. Keep your little major fingers up your ass. All right. Thank you, Mrs. DeGarmo. <laughs> She's Howard. clearly welcome, upset. Howard. Yes, thank you. Lovely Bye-bye. Woman. Bye-bye. Hey, Howard. Yes. I'm, I'm Eric forwarded the invite to... Uh, to Will, and I'm looking at it, and from what I can see, there's nothing in here that says Eric. It's very generic, right? You know, if you look at it, we've teamed up with one of Atlanta's biggest celebrities for a great cause. There's uh, no personal. We'd note. like for everyone to come by and say hello to Diana for an added treat. She'll even be signing autographs. To get an autograph, uh, simply click here. But there's nothing I, that says Gary. Yeah. Shut up for a minute. I said that's the part that's off of her MySpace page. Oh. The text message, I copied the text message from my phone, word per word, and it's under that. The look, text look at the bottom. It just says, Brenda emailed me, said, you are invited to Diana Benefit on 927, some chef show. Hope you're having a good time. But I, exact, I don't exactly know, Eric. That's it a, sounds that's thin. A, it's, a, it's a thin premise there that you were really invited. It seems like anybody could come. Yeah. No, no offense, I don't mean to rain on your parade, but it doesn't look good. I think maybe you were smart to go to your cousin's wedding. <laughs> it might have been embarrassing. Imagine if they shows up and there's a picture of him and the police are like, no, we told not to let you in. <laughs> All right, Eric, but congratulations. You got close, and I'm sorry you couldn't be there. All right. 
time. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Yeah, maybe next time the Yankees have a shot at the World Series. Uh, yes, Mr. Freeze, you're on with Eric. Eric. Yes? I love you. I love you, man. I- I'm not even embarrassed to say it. I love you. I want the world to know. Eric. Are you gay? Eric. Eric, I love you. Eric, what do you say to this? No, thank you. <laughs> All right, Eric, we'll speak to you soon. All right, bye. Thank you. Bye. Well, you see, poor Eric. He couldn't go to the Diana DeGarmo charity event. That yeah. close to his idol. Yeah. And yet he couldn't make it. Gary the retard wants to say hi. Hey, and then I what's a... up, Alex? Hey. Hey, uh, the camera guy did come down this weekend. He got to see my apartment and the whole thing. Oh, yeah, they I... shot a Gary Cribs? Or yeah, something? I think Howard TV's next big Cribs is uh, Gary the retard's place. And uh, we're going to get to see where he lives and oh, how right. what, what his interests are and what his special things are that he likes to, you know, his special possessions. What how you many in... rooms you got over there, Eric? The, I mean, the... Gary. Little one bedroom apartment. Or what do you bedroom. envision it looks like? Do you think it's like really I messy? It's, I think it's no. I think it's one room. Mm-hmm. It's. Do you ever see the movie Charlie Flowers for Algernon? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's like one room. There's a chalkboard in the corner. <laughs> I don't a, have no chalkboard in the corner. There's a little chair, like a, for, for like, like little a baby kids. chair, like a baby I chair, a and like, I got a computer, TV. And that's it. You got any art on the wall? No. No. No way. <laughs> art no on the wall. It's got a Picasso. Me, no, 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 no. No. Uh, no. He doesn't really appreciate it. Gary, Gary, who's your favorite artist of all time? I don't know. Who's your favorite music? I like, I like, I like doing karaoke sometimes. No. You know, it'd be funny as a goof if we just put Gary in the Sultan of Brunei's palace and <laughs> <laughs> it turns out that's where he lives. <laughs> Chris from Howard TV is here. He produced the Gary special. He's yep. here. Hi, Chris. Hey, come on in, Chris. He's going to come in. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't picture that place being rather, you know, homey. No, no festive uh, decorations. It's just a, a utilitarian unit. Chris does a great job for Howard TV. So what, what happened? You went down there. Yeah, I went to his apartment, and it's like... Uh, you know, it's maybe like 400 square feet. You walk in and it's like... Money, Chris! It's, what's up, Gary? <laughs> it's, uh, it's a living room slash kitchen. And you turn around and there's like a little bedroom and that's it. There's uh, nothing on the walls. It's so, like, so it's a five-minute special. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm afraid of. It's yeah. going to be really short. What but, color? Is everything like gray? It's just like real... It's just all white. There's white. no color. There's, it's cool. Like, and like what kind of people live in that building? Does anybody have a big Oh, apartment? my God. What? Howard. Is it really like a little yeah. rent? It's like a lot of, like, the guy that was with Gary said it's all, like, druggies and... Uh, <laughs> oh, nice. Just, it's, it's really, it's just a creepy environment. You know? What would you say is the nicest thing in the apartment? The, the serious satellite radio. Right. <laughs> I swear to God, it's the nicest thing in there. Is there any decorative... Not, not a thing. Nothing on the wall? Does walls? anything not match? Any plants? No, not a, nothing. There, What's his it's, bathroom it's like? like? That was actually clean. It surprisingly. was? Yeah. I don't know who cleaned it, but... Who, who cleaned your bathroom? I do. I clean, I clean everything in my apartment. Do you make your bed every day? Yes. When you went to, like, special ed, is that what they teach you? Like, how to clean your bathroom? Uh, no, I did it on my own. Yeah. But don't you, like, throw shit around and stuff? No. No feces on the floor? No. Or... You don't wipe uh, shit on your face and jump around? No. Do you? <laughs> Any holes in the walls? You don't. It's like whenever we see Creed more and stuff, people are always <laughs> shitting on retarded people. Are always shitting on themselves and throwing shit no, around and banging their head against the wall. Yeah, I don't mean this as an insulting way, but don't you eat your own shit and paint your face no, with shit and piss? You? And... <laughs> Shut up, buddy! I ain't talking to you. Hey, retard! Shut up, buddy! Hey, how's your retarded crib? How's <laughs> oh, your you retarded crib? So, is there anything in there that is unusual? Like, like does he cook in the kitchen? His uh, his freezer is full of hot pockets. Oh, really? That's so, all he had in there. He had oh. hot pockets and like two gallons of uh, of water. Thank and God they it. made hot pockets. I love hot pockets and water. <laughs> Don't you know hot pockets aren't good for you? I mean, they, they can't be good just eating a diet of hot pockets. Gary, well, what is he going to eat good for? Does he take vitamins? <laughs> how yes, often? I do. Hey, retard. How often Shut do you? Up, buddy. I ain't talking to you. I'm, I'm going to talk to Howard and just sit back and keep your fucking mouth shut.
Fuck you, fuck you retard. How Shut often, up, buddy. How often, Gary, do you eat Hot Pockets? Every night? All they are, all they are just the breakfast Hot Pockets. Oh, that's your are. breakfast. Do you ever make yeah. a mistake and shove a Hot Pocket up your ass? <laughs> Shut up, buddy. <laughs> I want to come back and I'm going to kick your ass, boy. Do you ever try to shove a Hot Pocket up oh, your ass God, and see if buddy. you'll throw it up later? Buddy. buddy. So the buddy. Hot Pockets is just breakfast? Yes. Okay. So what do you, do you have for retarded lunch? <laughs> Sandwich and grilled cheese sandwiches, and most of the time I go out to eat. Right. You and don't, how you do make, you... <laughs> you don't make those yourself, do you? Yeah, I make them myself. Yeah. That's grilled your specialty, sandwiches. grilled cheese? What else they got there? I, I forgot, because he, he said grilled cheese. There is um, cheese, you know, singles. like the, Right. It's all over the refrigerator. It's like not in a pack. It's, it's all why don't you keep, hey Gary, why don't you keep the cheese singles in a pack? Why are they spread out all over the refrigerator? <laughs> Because I use them a lot. Yeah. No, because you're a retard. <laughs> Shut up, buddy. <laughs> hey. I, I want to kick your ass, boy. Just try it. Buddy. What buddy, are you going to get your up. crystal meth lab uh, uh, neighbor up, after me? Shut up, buddy. So, so Did that's... you guys film him cooking at all? No, nothing. Oh. I didn't. I didn't want to get hurt. <laughs> Wouldn't you be nervous if you live in that building and you know Gary the retard is cooking? Yeah, he's got control of an oven. Gary, yeah. did you ever, by mistake, cook your hand? No, so do you I meet don't. the neighbors and stuff, or or is it like uh, kind of no? Like I just weird? saw people going, you know, in and out, but it was just shady really, types. Real shady. The whole town is just weird. <laughs> the whole town it's something is out weird. of a movie. <laughs> is it like? Is it uh, like mostly white people or black people? Yeah, mostly white people. But you can tell there's like a big like mental health problem around there. <laughs> the whole community is a mental health yeah. I, I saw, I could say, at least half a dozen people that weren't all there. <laughs> you live in Retardville. What is that, Gary? Wow. Chris, what time did you get home? Uh, I got home yesterday at four. Four in the morning? In the afternoon. What are you writing, a book? <laughs> no, I just, don't you, because he said after he got done here, he's going to go to Portland and get on the plane and head back to New York. All Does right. that chick still come over and rip you off? <laughs> no. Oh, she called. She we did. There. Did she yeah. come over and just take money from him? Yeah, you know. The that guy girl that, still calls you? We hate that girl. Don't let her do that to you. I don't. What, 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 what's, what is she calling you about? For money, but I told her I didn't have any. You so, still giving her money, no, Gary? No, I am not. Are you giving her cheese? <laughs> I, I bet. No, I don't give. I don't give her nothing. All right, that's good. Well, at least she calls. All right, Gary, I got to go. We look forward to that. When is that going to air? Do you have any idea when uh, they're going to be putting that on Howard yeah, TV? I, I don't know. You'd have to ask Doug. All Sorry. right, Doug's it's going to be part of, of our retarded Tuesday. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Shut up, buddy. Thank you, Gary. That sounds interesting. Hey, Howard, help me back to New York to see Miss Howard Stern. No. All right, yes. all right, Gary. I'll try and get you there. He should be at the premiere when we oh, do. Oh, okay, right. yes, a guest of honor. I'm kind of in I can even dig up my crib. <laughs> It's my living room. That's where I watch TV. <laughs> right here, see? That's where I watch Howard TV at. Right here in the living room. Look, right over there, see? <laughs> <laughs> But I'm not watching Howard on TV. I'm mostly listening to him on the radio. See, right here, Howard. Right here. Right here, so I'm doing sitting this room on the radio. 100 Howard's turn. Uh-oh, what happened to it? Did, oh, <laughs> there we go, see? My radio, listen to Howard. Let's go check out my kitchen. And then I'll just walk over it. And yeah, this is my kitchen where I cook my meals. Everything in there, my refrigerator, my, my coffee pot, my sink, and my dishwasher. Put all my dirty dishes in. This is where I cook at. This is my microwave. Well, TV dinners and stuff. And that's what it looks like. <laughs> Nothing bare naked. How do you get? There you go. See? Oh, stay open, goddammit. There you go. 
I stay open. Shit. I don't like that. That's all that's in there. That, that, that. But I ain't doing nothing. Drink pot, drink coffee, eat, go to bed, get up, go to work, and sleep. That's all I ever do. <laughs> this is my kitchen right here. But Howard, hi, go check out what the magic happens. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, follow me. Go check out my bedroom. There you go. <laughs> That's that where I sleep at, right here. Oh, this is my bed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you like it. Hello, how are you, asshole? Come on, talk to me. <laughs> it don't even work, see? I got the window out, see? I ain't very hot. Come on, come on. Ain't you stupid bug, you weak <laughs> And that's right. Oops. Oops, my what? See how you got, oops, see I got that? This is my shower, this is my toilet, I don't need to touch that. My sink, wash my hands, shave, get ready for work in the morning. This is my lotion, I just get it up in my hands. My clock, my radio, my plug-in for my cell phone, as usual. How much do I have one of them? And all my other junk, and my glasses. I had my baby picture, you know, just a baby. <laughs> yeah, when I was little, I don't know how old I was, but it doesn't say on the back. Just a blank picture. That's me in the head bed here, Howard. <laughs> Nothing in particular, I'm trying to show you my rides. Okay? <laughs> okay, let's go. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> Here, check out my bike. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, my tires are low. Oh! <laughs> oh, I don't wear no stinky helmet. <laughs> Most of the time when it's start raining, it's not ready to work, but when it's raining, I'll just walk. Get me good exercise. <laughs> TV, get the hell out of here! Bye! See you! Hello? I am Riley Martin, whom they say is friend of the aliens. I'm down here today, Sirius Satellite Radio, on the Howard Stern Show, Howard 100, to advertise the completion of the millennium edition of my audio book and the upcoming uh, printing uh, of the Millennium Edition of Heart, uh, the hardback, the hardcover, uh, softcover, what have you. Also, to celebrate the uh, the dawning of a new contract with the group called Broadcaster.com, as well as to uh, uh, congregate with and hold uh, conversations with uh, Howard and Robin, Artie and the rest of the crew, and uh, more or less, to be nice, as you know, I am gently so. So, stay tuned. It's on. Okay, let's go to Riley Martin. He wants to stop by and promote his show. Riley Martin show tonight at midnight on Howard 101. I'm sure there's going to be some groundbreaking news. The reason we should turn tune in tonight. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure, sure he's heard from Tan and has something to say. No, nah, it's usually Riley's same bullshit. <laughs> he's usually whining about money. Yeah. And I hope he doesn't start negotiating here. I told him, I don't want to hear about it. Here he is, Riley Martin, host of the Riley Martin Show. Oh, big what cowboy hat. What the hell kind of hat is that? Some kind of Indian shaman <laughs> hello, hat he's hello. wearing. Riley's I'm glad wearing. he can't hear me yet. <laughs> hello, gentle soul. How are you? Hello, gentle soul. Pretty good, Howard. How are you? Pretty good. I see you're really walking with a cane now. Something's going on like there. Like a huh? walking like stick. Like a hip problem or something? No, I, uh, I keep the cane with me because, as you know, ever since I've known you, I told you when I first met you that I have a kind of a gimp leg. Yeah. You know, and what have you. 
And I was hoping that ultimately I would make enough money with the, the great Sirius Satellite Radio. Oh, here we go, man. Don't stop. No, 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 to fix the leg. Seconds, no, that's, but that's okay. It. Fuck it. You ain't going to make enough this, money here to fix at, that leg. At this rate, yeah. uh, you can fix my grandkids' leg. It certainly won't be mine. Right. You know, but Why that's are okay. you wearing women's jewelry? Yeah, why are you wearing a woman's uh, necklace? Uh, however, why don't you step outside and let's, uh, let's uh, decide the, uh, you understand, the sex of the necklace, okay? And you too, baby. Riley, honestly, is that really a masculine necklace? Honestly. That's, My uh, grandmother wears things like that. Yeah, well, this is it. It's like uh, if your grandmother was with me, we'd wear it together, wouldn't we? <laughs> Do you, does anyone else say to you that it's a feminine necklace? Uh, not if they want to live. Right. <laughs> you understand? It's a big insult to you. <laughs> yes. Did yeah. you design that yourself? Is that what's going on? Uh, yeah, my, uh, I have relatives. Let me ask you about You have your, relatives? Well, let, let me mm-hmm. get into this a little bit, Riley, because you're here, you're, you're celebrating uh, your show tonight at midnight on Howard 101. I respect Among it. other things, Howard. Yes, mm-hmm. I understand. And mm-hmm. you, um... And also, Riley is promoting the Millennium Edition of his audio book, The Coming of Tan. Yes, I this mean, is the Millennium Edition of the audio book. Uh, I have a freebie for you and one for Robin. I will listen to it. Wait, now, really? I will listen to it. I, have you uh, ever heard the... next the... time I see you, I'm going to question you. All right. If have you, you ever have heard... not listened to it, you're getting downed. All right, all right. Uh, and, uh, uh, <laughs> Whatever uh, that and means. sexed up. Oh, sexed up. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, did you ever hear Riley's audio book? I'll play you a little no, clip from it. No, I have it. never. Here's Riley talking about how when he fucks a woman, they grow visibly younger after banging him. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I mean, you really do need to hear this. This. Here you go, Robin. If I perchanced to make love to a certain lady several times, this lady seemed to grow visibly younger. Really? This is Riley trying to pass himself off almost like a Jesus Christ type figure where he fucks abroad and something in his semen makes him younger. Here's Riley saying wrinkles disappear on women after he bangs them. I've had a number of women show and tell me. Uh, the disappearance of facial lines, wrinkles, and the renewal of youthful skin texture, as well as the inner knowledge of past youth, etc. Riley, isn't that the mm. oldest scam in the world to well, tell I mean, a woman? Well, otherwise, you'd have to ask the women that, Howard. Yeah. Why don't you, you understand? have uh, and, the uh, women? Robin, yeah. Robin, I would suggest that you partake. I do an experiment. Yes, and then <laughs> uh, uh, ultimately uh, well, you can uh, you can understand the the truth or negativity well, of my words. Explain to Robin because explain to Robin because she's a woman. Maybe she's considering having sex with you now that she's single. Do you, do, do you mm-hmm. come inside them and they get younger, or do you do you they come on their, all over do you them. splatter on their face? No, no, inside Howard. Uh, inside, uh, so, uh, 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 it's like uh, I do not uh, try to emulate. Triple X movies like you all do. Yeah, but you realize you how... don't think you're doing anything unless you're shooting something on somebody's <laughs> quilt. I think you're getting something angry. on that I nature. Think you're you understand? Angry because even amateurs, you're... if you're not going to get the feeling, should have stayed your ass at home. I think now you're getting. I think you you're something. getting angry. No, be- I'm not because, angry. You know, you're getting angry because you realize even how ridiculous this statement is. You're sounds. listening to yeah. it, and now well, you my can goodness. hear how silly it's. Uh, I mean, it's silly. My goodness, <laughs> it's silly. A woman in love yeah. automatically feels younger. The juices within her flows. But wait a <laughs> minute. Has, so I got to fall I mean in is, love with you? So I'm not claiming anything. I'm just saying you're the claiming phenomena that your semen, exists. You're claiming that your mm-hmm. semen has some sort of power. The phenomena exists. That your semen specifically makes a woman younger. Well, Howard, I can only attest to my own semen. I've not sampled others like you all have. Does but do condom- you think it's because of your travels into outer space or something they did to you? I would think that uh, I have, to some small extent, gained something that I necessarily did not learn in school. How Robert. come it doesn't do you any good? Yeah, why are you not here? Yeah. <laughs> well, nothing has done me any good, Howard, including the salary you pay me. So, a I, condom, mean, a so condom I mean, otherwise, I'm going to grow old and, and shrivel uh, simply because I have no one to love me uh, as I love you all. By the way, uh, Riley announces that anal sex with Riley makes a woman smarter oh. if he puts it in your ass. He's been <laughs> I know, told. I, 
anyway. I never said that, but that's an idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? <laughs> yes. He's going to incorporate that. Uh, you, Riley, you, you realize it. you lose credibility with the audience. Well, I mean, I understand that. Uh, unless you can go to those ladies and observe for yourself. Who are these ladies? Uh, can you give us some Even my names? own They're all in jail. <laughs> yeah, even my own lady. Really? And observe How that. And she? then, and then uh, you know, decide for yourself. Let me ask you a question, and, and, and if this seems unusual to you or embarrassing to you, mm-hmm. don't answer. Okay. But I am getting some of these, what they call laugh lines. Could you give me some of that Riley come right on my face right now? Uh, well, no, Howard, you mind actually, that? Does it not work uh, for men? Actually, actually, Howard, I would suggest you go back to the, the bathroom at the, at the airport where the, you were the last time and pat your foot and, and you know, and look over the stall like that and you, you'll get some action over there. I can't help you, son. I am so fascinated mm-hmm. by your fashion, Riley. Now you're wearing mm-hmm. suspenders and a belt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know, well, he really doesn't. Want, he really doesn't want those pants coming down. I was going to say those pants aren't coming down. <laughs> Why would you wear a belt and suspenders? Well, because I want a backup under all the circumstances, Howard. Right. And, you understand? And I, you know, I appreciate that you put a lot of work into your show, and I know how hard you uh, you, you you work on it to the, make the sure. The show is quite magnificent. Yes. Uh, and we understand that it's very popular. It though is. I did not find that out from you or your crew. Right. It would be wonderful. Well, why would we tell you that? Then you would on, demand uh, more money. If once every blue moon. Yeah. You guys would at least give me a little bit of advertisement or we something of do. that nature. Well, here you, you don't are. do that. What you do is sit around for 24 7 talking about uh, ruminating upon faggot uh, uh, situations and things of this nature. <laughs> that is the uh, your extent of your career. Riley, maybe you should look you into fuck? that. Huh? What do you mean, motherfucker? I'm more successful. Motherfucker, I'm, I said you fuck. I'm more successful than you, mm-hmm. so maybe you ought to look at what I'm doing. Of course. And emulate that. However, Howard. Yes. Everybody cannot be Howard Stern. Right, of course. And thus I don't try. I, I respect I am that. Riley Martin. The work you, I was mm-hmm. making a The Millennium point. Edition of the book is out, people. Yes, by the way, mm-hmm. listen now to Now, how Riley, do you get that? Uh, to uh, purchase, go to RileyMartin.com. Come all right, all right. and get the Millennium Edition of the book. The hard printed copy will be out shortly. All but right. get the if you want to listen to the entire book in my voice. That's what I want to hear. Yes. Then uh, get, oh yes, we here's a copy hear for that. you, dear. <laughs> we, we, I, I, mm-hmm. I appreciate that, Riley. We yeah. got to get this book. Once yeah. I saw a family of Harry ape like upright creatures in the Hyborian Garden, and upon inquiry was told that these creatures were genetic relatives of man, and that several races of them still live upon the earth. I consider myself open-minded, but I would not want to invite one of them to lunch, and I'll never forget the smell of those creatures. I can't wait to get my copy of this. Mm. Let me ask you, Riley, uh, you know when you come to the building, Mm -hmm. you have to bring your ID. I have. I have. Uh, what happened? I, I have a novel with my picture in it. I have a social security card. I have uh, insurance cards. I have a bank card. Uh, you understand? But I have all of this. Of Plus, qualify? I do three shows. Uh, uh, three three shows in this janky area every week. Right. Uh, and thirdly, I'm on the list. What Fourthly, happened? What happened uh, downstairs? What well, happened? No, that every time I come, yeah. there seems to be a new set of security personnel, <laughs> and uh, they say, "Well, no, we need uh, an ID." I said, "Well, do I sound like I'm from south of the border or somewhere, lady?" Yeah, but you I understand. Said, all they you gotta don't know do it. is call upstairs. Yeah, I can give you all of this unless I have waylaid and stolen the man's bank card. His credit card. But it would be so easy yeah. if you just brought your license with you. Then you'd be up I here in three seconds. I don't you drive. Ha- you have a license. You have a no government issued photo ID. No, not now, baby. No. Oh. Uh, it's been a while. It turns into a whole mm-hmm. fiasco I when know. he tries to get up here. But yeah, yeah. And so, so I am going to get that, though. So you can't drive. Uh, well, no, I can drive, but I don't drive. Uh-huh. No, uh-huh. I have uh, other individuals to do my driving for. I was saying, yeah, oh, he's mm-hmm. got a very, very lavish lifestyle. He has other people who drive him. Mm. Right. Uh, yeah. So the, the the big controversy on your show right now, your co-host, Enron, is, ver- Iran. Iran mm-hmm. is very upset. Why is he upset? Because he feels Riley drinks too much during the show. During the show? Yes. Yes. Oh, no. You don't, don't even uh, know that Iran is upset? Oh, well, no, I'm, and I'm Iran, sure where, that I give a fuck, but uh, no, I mean, otherwise... Where is Iran? Uh, Let's bring him in and find yeah, out yeah, what this uh, is. Yeah, yeah, bring Iran in. Also, 
Uh, I've just signed a contract with a group out of California called Broadcaster. Good. Singular. Broadcaster.com. Ro- Singer Robertson, the CEO of that is here. I'd like you to holler at him, man, before we go. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, yeah. I can't bring in your whole entourage. I know. I've, I I've understand got a big that, show to get Singer to. Singer can a- explain to you what we're doing, man. Would your gardener like to come in? <laughs> uh Iran, welcome. Hey, Howard. What's going on? Uh, what's going on with Riley's drinking? Let's have it out right now. As someone who works on the channel, uh, we should know about this. You probably this. couldn't bring his, this up with the, to Riley on your own. Well, Riley's impossible to talk to. Now, I can bring up anything with him on, on my own. But oh, yeah? at that particular time, I thought that it was it was not a time for me to go get him a beer. Mm-hmm. Right. So I said, man, come on. Right. It's enough with the drinking, right? And I acceded to his wishes, which is why I have people around me I can trust. But the drinking is starting to get you into trouble. No. I, I, I refer to this terrible incident with your beautiful wife. Yes. I mean, what is going on, Riley? This is not right. Well, let me tell you what happened. Okay, please. Uh, we were celebrating uh, the new contract with Broadcaster.com. Okay. Uh, out of California. <laughs> and uh, What do you mean, a, a, bro- a Broadcaster.com? What, they're paying uh, yeah, you to broadcast? Uh, uh, of course. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, so I, we were celebrating, and uh, I was drinking brandy for the first time in like a year. All right. And so somebody said, well, I'm glad you are working with some nice people because... Uh, that Howard Stern and Tim Savian, some cheap bastard. <laughs> and that Robin is a loudmouth little bit. Mike, you wouldn't have gotten well, a job. You I wouldn't have gotten a job. No. And no. I said, I said, and I said, look, you can talk about me all you want to. You wouldn't have but gotten. But nobody talks about my Jewish friends and my Negro lady friend from the South. <laughs> you understand? And so no. somebody, and I said, all I'm asking you all to do is <laughs> leave so Howard alone. I tell you, you know what I mean? And they dropped a dime on no, me. No, R- Riley. <laughs> they dropped a dime. Not really. The only reason. And, uh, uh, what is your contract with Broadcaster.com? Are you getting a lot of money? Oh. Uh, no, no, how would I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sure not there's getting a potential lot there. of money. There's potential. Well, but wait. there's potential. <laughs> there's no. some potential. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Like everything else. <clears throat> there's potential. And believe me, mm-hmm. this all comes about because you have a show here. Remember that. Well, of course. Yes. Yeah, so I, 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 I love you guys. I really do. No, you don't. However, you always set upon me in a rueful manner, even with my dulcet and gentle qualities. Don't do and you bring out of, you? And you bring out of me don't bullshit uh, me. What happened with language your wife? that ordinarily I would never we use. We set upon uh, you being a citizen and what have you. Explain to freshly me. Freshly ejected from Mexico. No, no, mm-hmm. no, 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 no. no. Mm-hmm. Let's stop all the bullshit. No, you were. This is disturbing to me. Okay. All right. You were recently arrested for violating a restraining order that your wife had against you. Now, how did that happen? We were on the way to the jailhouse. And uh, so the officer said, look, man, there's no big thing. There wasn't no fight or anything. So you're going to have to make a little bond now to get out. And I said, okay, that that reminds me. uh, Drop me by the bank. I want to catch my serious satellite. Wait a minute. uh, You're jumping ahead. How did you get into the police car? Never mind that, Robert. He knew. He knew. He knew me. He said, I said, take me by the bank and let me cash my serious satellite check. He said, oh, okay, Mr. Martin. I have to go in with you. I said, okay, cool. So I went in the bank, and I came up. The lady said, oh, you look familiar. I said, yes, I'm Riley Martin, friend of the aliens. I work with serious satellite radio. My boss is Howard Stern. And uh, she said, yeah. now quit laughing. I'm pouring that heart out of you, Robin. Damn it. See, you're not telling so, the anyway, truth. No, no. You're and not I telling said, the truth. I said, she said, uh, I said, I want to cash a check here to make my bond. And so she said, okay. And she got the check, and she said, this is what he pays you? <laughs> and I said, yes, ma'am. She said, hold it right here. And she went and showed it to all the rest of them. You know what I mean? The women in down the line. You, they showed it to the bank guard and the man sweeping the hall. And they was all funny, laughing. Riley. They was all laughing. She said, how do you want this? I said, two rolls of quarter and five ones. And so she said, she said, she said, she said, she said here's your money, son. <laughs> like that, okay. Like, like uh, here's your money, son. So, uh, uh, and I was—I mean, I was actually embarrassed and milked. And uh, you know what I mean? I'm serious. You were embarrassed and, uh, for yeah, me. Yeah, right. right. And so I said, "Well, what is this, lady?" She said, "That's an application for food stamps." <laughs> no, so I left the bank. I left the bank in a huff. I left the bank in a huff. Well, you're I'm funny. Tell, I'm telling you, you the truth. I left in a huff. No. How I does his wife 
you have a restraining she, order she Why? It's and, crazy. Uh, and so, so I got back in the police car, and he was laughing. And he said, is that, let me see your checks done. I said, what are you doing? He said, uh, get out the car. I said, no, man, take me to jail. People will not uh, besmirch my Jewish friends and my black Negro friend girl from the South. They will not do this. He said, get out the car. Riley, you're filibustering your 90s. No, no, I'm serious. He said, get out the car. He said, you don't make enough money to be a criminal. Get the fuck out the car. <laughs> and uh, so when I got out, slammed the door. tell me what happened. I said, uh, tell me, I said, stop, I said, stop, 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 stop. Take your taser and hook it to your nuts and have fun, copper. <laughs> but see, he was out of sight by the time I said that because I hadn't thought of that retard before he left. Riley. I wish he'd have heard it. All right, all right, all right. And <laughs> that's what happened, Howard. Now, now when you me. tell me about your all of your intimate affairs, we shall discuss this again. No. In yes. the meantime, let us try to move on and stay serious like I am. No, but why does your wife have a restraining order again? Don't you two live in the same house? Yeah, how can she... Well, I mean, no, I'm asking a legal question. How can a woman have a restraining <laughs> order against you if you live together. There is peace in the valley, Howard. If you call me now, it's at the same abode. Yep. Your electronic equipment is set up in the same house. We live in the same no, no, house. No, no. You're not now, following me. She anyone, had, I'm talking about before the anyone incident. Anyone no, right. who has never signed a contract with broadcasters got a little drunk and showed his ass at one time or the other without violence, uh, then, my goodness, I am guilty of that. No, no, no. I'm mm -hmm. curious about something. You're not, you're not mm -hmm. hearing me. I, I'm not trying to embarrass you, but I'm really trying to understand something. In other words, even before the police showed up and this incident happened, there was already a restraining order against you from your wife. How does a woman take out a restraining order against a guy that she lives with? Well, I'm, I'm, it I'm, happens I'm all the you. time, Howard. It does? Then explain to us, because we didn't I mean, know otherwise, that. Expl in other uh, words, if I live with Robin... It doesn't happen to you simply because you got so much money that you can act a damn fool and get away with no, it. No, no, no. I don't... You understand? No, no, no. I've never had yeah. a restraining order so, against yeah, me. Yeah, what, what, my goodness, this is the first time in my life. Oh, this is the first Such time? Such a time. First time. Oh. I thought you two were madly in love. I don't I don't. Well, understand. we are madly in love, Robin. Then but I don't to, argue with her nearly as hard as I argue with you people. Maybe we should have and, restraining uh, orders. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's what you what did should they have claim? a restraining order. But, but in fact, I want to get one against y'all. <laughs> what does the order say? Don't show up in Georgia, huh? What does the order say? In other words, your wife... How far uh, no, do you have to stay away? I know your wife took out the restraining order. Now everything's fine. But like, at what point was she saying you did something? What is it she's claiming you did? Uh, being obnoxious. Right. Uh, getting drunk and raising hell, which did I have not. I, no, look, I did not. I do look here. That's the first time in a year that I've drinking hard whiskey. Uh, actually, I don't handle hard whiskey well. Okay. Uh, and I was celebrating, and and at the time I wasn't the only one in the house right. imbibing, and things got a little out of hand. Kid. What did you do? What happened? Just talking shit. What did you say to her? I'm going to hit your ass? No, 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 no. No, I don't fight women, Howard. Right. I have enough self-esteem as to where, even as old as I am, right. I believe that I could get a woman. What do you but think wait a minute. What here, do you think? I, I'm, I'm trying to... You're, so you're drinking. It's a celebration. Yeah. What happens? Do you, are you a bad drunk? Do you turn uh, nasty no, or it angry? Has, some people have said... Yeah. That if I'm in by being a uh, hard whiskey or something yeah. of that nature, uh -huh. that it is uh, possible that on rare occasions I may become a little abrasive. I see. When <laughs> set upon in the wrong manner. Mm -hmm. Does she, does and, she mm -hmm. think you hit her? No, she don't think I hit her. Were you breaking things in the house? No, I wasn't breaking things. Oh. I'm saying that all you got, all you got to do is say, uh, okay, did you call up 911? What's your, you know, what's right. your emergency? Uh, uh, my husband, you know, is, is, is drunk and disorderly, and he's talking cash shit, and I think y'all ought to come out and talk to him. They said, well, take the yellow pages and turn. Keep turning, lady. Just keep turning till you get to the part where it says, uh, says somebody who cares. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so, so she said, well, let me put it like this. Well, let, me, let me put it like this. Yeah. He works for a bunch of New York Jews, and he's oh, sassing out a white yeah, woman. You see what I mean? Yeah. See? Wow! Well, so, 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 helicopters, come on out there, boy. So what does the, re what does the restraining <laughs> order require you to do? Uh, stay away from the house. But you're in the house. Until she invites me back. But, yeah, she was at work. I, I was coming over to get materials and what have you, and I don't think she's the one dropped the dime on that. 
may oh. have been uh, somebody else did it. Wow. And they had to take me in, even though there was no controversy or anything like that. But this is the only time this has ever happened to me anywhere on the face of the earth. I promise you, check my record. You understand? Right. And it shall not happen again, simply because I will not drink hard whiskey right. anymore. It's a lot of shenanigans. What do you usually yeah. drink? It's beer or wine? Yeah, beer. Mm -hmm. Miller Lite. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Eron knows what he drinks. Well, then, Eron, He just drinks you... beer. Yeah. Does he and drink I... too much? In no. your opinion, be honest. On certain occasions, yeah. maybe at, at, at inappropriate timing, right. but he just basically drinks beer. I see. And at that particular day, we were celebrating because I was there earlier and I was drinking too. And I left, and when I came back, the police were actually there. And I walked in on them, and I, I first thing I said was, he's yeah. all right, he's cool. And they said, whoa, get back. Yeah. And they said, come yeah. on out of there. Yeah, they and I said, you'll never take me alive, cop <laughs> And I pushed Eron out there. Well, and I had him like you what skin a squirrel. Yeah, yeah, had it. it sounds like but, a real circus. No, I yeah, wanted, yeah, but I wanted, when I come out, they It wasn't say, that bad, how They right. said, look out. He got an Afro comb and a submarine sandwich. <laughs> well, Riley, I just want to say how exciting it is that you are here today. Yeah. I am proud that you are on the channels. I yeah. know you have a discrepancy about money and well, things no, like I, that. I, I think we I know. Would, we know. Uh, at, we the know. End of, uh, at the end of the year, I think I would have proven myself enough as right. to where you will not be uh, ashamed uh, to at least give me a stipend enough as to where I may be able to pay my rent continually well, for this, at least two well, fucking months. With this new deal, hmm? maybe you won't even need us. Maybe you'll be gone. Well, uh, maybe you'll be uh, leaving uh, here. Uh, Riley Martin shall not pass away. No, I meant not, not gone. I meant with yeah, the broadcast. I'm saying uh, Riley Martin will not secede from the air, uh -huh. waves, one way or the other, simply because the information uh -huh. is great enough until people want the information. Is it, Unfortunately, what, there are other elementals or mediums uh, through which to go. But I, think I love if Robin, you. I think what Robin You're is trying to... You're the tops. I love you. Thank and you. I, yeah, I and, what, I, and I want to work with you. I think what Robin's trying mm -hmm. to say, though, is maybe Broadcaster.com would want you exclusively. And right. I, and uh, I would, be, I would no, understand. No, no, no. I can't it's stand like in this. your way. Yes. It's like this. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I would not break my word to you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You understand, Howard? You can break No, I, do, I will not break my word nor my contract <laughs> right. with you until such time as it ends right. and we renegotiate and hopefully come to terms. But Good. you can count on me doing my absolute level best Thank you. Uh, to entertain as well as to be informative to your people. I shall not uh, tarry and mess around mm -hmm. and simply fill in spaces. Well, I'm what I say you is for that. For, uh, not, on, not only information for the people, but I believe for the healing of the nation. Uh, Dominic, you're on the air. Yeah, this is different orders of protection. He can have what's called, his wife can have a stay away, which means he has to stay out of the house, or she can simply have a do not arrest where he's allowed in the house. And I think what happened was he had a stay away, but then she changed it to do not arrest. No, it's, it was dismissed. Uh, it was dismissed, my man. Totally. Oh, he dropped it totally? Yeah, totally, totally dismissed. Yeah. yeah, totally. However, that don't mean I didn't have to pay a little money because you don't live in no country town and uh, sass out no white woman without paying a little money. Right. She's a white woman, your wife. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Dominic. Rob, go ahead. You're on the air in Chicago. Howard, I think I speak for all the Riley fans. Thank you for getting this guy on each and every week. I'm a hardcore Riley fan. I don't necessarily believe what he's all that what he's saying, but at the end, it's entertaining. Right. Yes. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. I started out. I, you know, I'm going to be honest. I used to prank Riley a lot, and I still do a lot of times. You know, rile him up, but. Uh, like I said, in the end, it's just all entertaining, and the more well, you can get this guy on, the that's, better. That's what it's about, and I really encourage mm -hmm. everyone to listen to the Riley Martin Show tonight at midnight on Howard 101. Howard 101. And let's make it clear, to purchase the Millennium Edition of yes, the Coming yes. of Tan audiobook, yes. go to RileyMartin.com. That's where it all happens. That and is correct. And you're going to be hearing about his new deal, Broadcaster.com, all this other stuff. He is on fire career-wise. I think everybody recognizes What will he be this. doing for Broadcaster.com? Uh, we're doing, what do you call that, a vidcast? It's actually a webcast. A webcast. A webcast. Yeah, yeah. it'll be All a right. webcast. And they can see me just like I see you on, uh, you know, how it on right. the Oh, look at that. In real time. All right, that sounds good. Yeah. When, will that, when will that start? It will start, I believe, this coming Thursday night, 6 p.m. Eastern. All right. And it's going to be called Down to Earth with Riley Martin, and they, they kind of want a little different take. They, wanted, yeah, it's not, they want him to wax on different 
things Broad other than in his appeal. Yes. Well, well what is he going to talk about? A current yeah. events, current, current events, events, things of this nature. Maybe uh, even gossip. Maybe yeah. some personalities. I'll be talking yeah. Britney Spears. Stuff like that, yeah. perhaps. What have you? <laughs> Riley, if, if will you mention up. Britney Spears, for example? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the only thing I got to say to you, Howdy. Leave Brandy alone, <laughs> Parker. <laughs> Thank you, Riley. We'll all tune in tonight at midnight. Yes, right, Thank at you, midnight. Riley Martin and Eron, everybody. And we'll be back right after these words. Riley, mm. how'd it go in there, man? Oh, beautiful, beautiful. We had, I think we had a marvelous time. So you're, long... you're staying with Sirius, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm staying with Sirius. So, of course, uh, as I've said. I'm a very loyal person. I wouldn't, I wouldn't dare leave Sirius uh, unless, you know, I got like $15 more. <laughs> but no, no, I stay uh, uh, under my contract. Now, but then again, but you cannot blame me for uh, doing branching out into other mediums and what have you simply because I do have to eat, you know. You know what I mean? I hear you. Mm -hmm. Now, Howard wanted to talk about like your situation with your wife, like restraining orders. Did you, is that hard to talk about? Well, no, actually, uh, anything I had to say about my private business uh, uh, and have people like you up in my face, I have already said. But I love you, all right? All right, Riley. Thanks for yeah. stopping by, brother. Okay.